Hi, I'm Dr. Elmo, and I'm going to be coming up next on The Vinnie Langdon Show. Happy holidays, everyone, and welcome to The Vinnie Langdon Show. I am Vinnie Langdon, and there is no other way that I like to start my holiday season by having Dr. Elmo on The Vinnie Langdon Show. Nice to meet you. It's great to meet you, yes. Vinnie, and great to be on your show. All right. I'm glad you're excited, and I'm excited as well. Yeah. And you have a song, right? It's uh, Rudolph... The Red-Nosed Reindeer, right? Well, it's almost like Rudolph <laughs> the Red-Nosed Reindeer, but, uh, but, but it's a little, uh, maybe a little more, oh, how should I say? About uh, grandmas or yeah, something? Yeah, it's about grandmas, yeah. Yeah, yeah. grandma yeah. got run over by a reindeer. Now, when we're, we're going to be talking about, you know, family traditions and Christmas traditions. And growing up here in Northern California, I just remember as a kid, every morning, You'd go and I open up my presents, go down to my grandparents' house, and we would always, you know, turn on Christmas music. And the song that always stuck in my head the most was Grandma Got Run Over by the Reindeer. And as us kids, you know, being four or five years old, we would be so frightened because our grandmother would go in the kitchen and we'd look around and we would hear on the radio, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, and we would freak out because we thought our, you know, grandmother got run over by a reindeer. But it wasn't our grandma. What, <laughs> whose grandma was it? <laughs> well, it was uh, actually, the, the, it was my grandma, and she didn't actually get hit by a reindeer. But she used to imbibe a lot during the Christmas holidays. And after the holidays were over, she was a little hungover. We didn't want to say grandma's hungover. <laughs> so we just said she was run over by a reindeer. And then you started to... Uh, performing those songs that you started making, you know, at your veterinarian place, right? I did. And then, uh, and then, w well, once I was uh, performing and this man named Randy Brooks came up to me and he said, you know, I have this song that my band won't let me play, but I think it would be perfect for you. And so I went back to the dressing room and he started, uh, he sat down and on the guitar and played Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. And I said, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Why not? Grandma getting throttled at Christmas? Yeah, that's, <laughs> I like that. Drinking too much eggnog. <laughs> yeah. So I was just mentioning earlier that, you know, the TV series even branched out based on your song. And, I mean, how did that go? I mean, you were a part of that, right? You even did some of the characters? Yes, I did. Uh, I wrote the, co-wrote the script, and uh, that's the television animated special. And then I uh, wrote five of the songs in it, and... Uh, and I voiced the characters of Grandpa, and I was also the narrator in that movie. Right. And tell us a little bit about that. Was it challenging? I mean, you got a two-minute and 45-minute song that means something to you, but, you know, you got to translate it into a half-hour or an hour-long script. Yeah. And, you know, was that difficult for you? Well, we got together uh, with another writer down in Los Angeles, uh, someone who knew how to, you know, instead of just writing the story, they knew how to put the, you know, write a script. It, it was, I guess, what they call a film script. Right. And uh, then we had it animated in, uh, over in uh, Korea. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and d every year it comes on every year, every season. I mean, there's the Charlie Brown holiday, and then there's Grandma Got Run Over by the Reindeer. So, I mean, do a lot of people still, you know, come up to you and say, hey, you know, I see that show, and I hear your voice? Yes, they do. You know, the show plays, I think, around maybe 13 to 15 times every December. And there's always, almost every other day someone calls and says, I saw the show last <laughs> night, and I always love to hear it, no matter ever, how many times. Do you ever get overwhelmed and just want to turn your phone off for a week? <laughs> well, Christmas you know, I, I like to get my 15 minutes of fame every December, <laughs> so it's kind of fun. Towards the end, you know, when it's over, it's nice to have a little rest from it. So when the Billboard charts came out back in the day with Grandma Got Run Over by the Reindeer, and, you know, what was your first reaction looking at the charts and seeing your name, you know, right above Elvis Presley and... Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby, yeah. Yeah, pretty hard to believe. Yeah, you're like, oh, yeah. someone Photoshopped that? No. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> that yeah. was even in the days before Photoshop. Right. But it was, uh, yeah, B you know, Bing Crosby's al always been one of my favorites, as well as Elvis. And to see myself, my name above him on the charts was p pretty spectacular for me. Yeah. And what did your family think? They were like, wow, they're proud of you. And Well, they were pretty proud. Yeah, in the beginning they thought, I, we hate this. Uh, this song is never going to go anywhere. Who on earth would want to hear a song about Grandma getting th throttled at Christmas? And uh, 
But then once the song began to gather some steam, they all said, we knew that song was going to be a hit. And you even have a song that's, you know, don't ever play that grandma song again, right? Yes. It yeah. has a line that goes, oh, no, don't make me play that grandma song again. Though that request line glows and glows, just as bright as Rudolph's nose. I'll do anything you say. I'll play them barking dogs all day, but please don't make me play that grandma song again. Nice, nice. Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Vinnie Langdon, we believe 